think we're live. All right, guys. Um, gonna wait to see if anybody jumps on. It says we are live. Um, let's see if we have any uh, takers here. It's been a while since I've done a live shave. My daughter's actually sitting on the side here with the laptop, seeing if she can figure this stuff out. Because I do have my um, front-facing, oh, not my front-facing camera, my regular camera. So that way it picks up a little smoother. Um, so we shall see if anybody shows up. Uh, this is a little bit um, out of the blue, but uh, we'll see. So if anybody's out there, let me know. Um, trying to figure this out right now because I'm trying to do, um, I, haven't, I haven't done this before with a laptop. So if anybody's watching, mm, I don't know who's there. I see a comment. Tony, what's going on, brother? Tony, so I got my daughter sitting on the side here, um, and I have my regular camera, so that way it's a uh, full, um, you got it? Does it, does a, com a comment show up? All right, let me see. Um, the only thing is, um, how do I check the comments on here? Where? Oh, okay. Now I just need to figure out where am I going to put it. Um... I don't you have like a box or oh bring me that box right there on the side. That brown box? Yeah. Sorry guys. I have I'm live streaming so I can see the comments on the laptop, but I don't have any room to put um to put my gear. Tony, do you mind uh uh hitting the guys up? Um I just did this out of the blue because um if I, if you remember, I was uh, dealing with that situation with my brother. All right, let's see. This may work. All right. Thanks, Tony. All right. So, cool. That's going to work down. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how this works yet. So, I don't know how many people are watching. Uh, my daughter knows all this stuff. Um, where is this at? Hold on. Uh, baby! I don't want to stop the video. How do I scroll down? I did something. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Give me a sec. Hold on. scroll down is there no way to scroll down mm, no it's just totally so this is the full page already there's nothing else no. there's right here it's just for people watching okay and it's time delayed how do i fast forward the time i, I did something earlier so i gotta fast forward the time <coughs> oh there it is Just see how it goes in. If anybody shows up, they show up. <clears throat> All right, give me a second, Tony. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick, and then we're gonna get started. Meanwhile, some people show up. Um, if it shows up, meanwhile, the blank screen. 
Can you mess message down below? Uh, let them know I'll be back, Tony. I'm gonna go grab something. I'll be right back. All right. Let me know if you're still there, Tony. <laughs> Gonna grab um, just a something simple. Meanwhile, people are showing up. Shoot the shit a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I know we're not gonna get many viewers here today because um, I didn't announce it. Um, I wasn't even gonna do it. I was waiting. I'm, I might even get some interruptions here with the phone call. Um, so, for anybody who watches back, um, <clears throat> gonna go in with uh, the full set of ESP, or well, at least not the EDT. But um, there you have it. There, fan, 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 fantastic scent. Um, I'm gonna go in with the aftershave splash. I had a sample of the ESP that was sent, <clears throat> and we're gonna use the that darn bra brush. There you go. Um, you'll you'll be cool if you want. I got the laptop over here. I was wondering how I was gonna put the laptop, but Zoe helped me with the box. Oh, so you can, you can yeah, yeah, I'm good if you want. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the raw razor. <clears throat> and where is it at? Gonna go in with the brand new uh, Perma Sharp. And I, I do have this, uh, like, Kelly has to call it a spot or an imperfection or a blemish that is a pimple that I popped and got overly aggressive with. Um, so uh, there you go. <clears throat> so let's get into the shave here. I'm gonna go ahead and load my blade. Um, yeah, so for the, anybody who's gonna be uh, watching back, uh, my uh, stepbrother uh, is taking my, um, damn it, I have no blades in here, shit. I'm all over the place. Give me a second. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Yeah, well, you can you can obviously tell, right, that I wasn't prepared. Um, ah, shit. Um, yeah, so um, my stepbrother is taking my pops' truck for one last run out of state as a, you know, kind of like a memorial kind of, um, you know, saying his goodbyes, you know, because um, he wants to visit all the places my dad used to visit when he was doing the runs to Washington so um, he wants to do like a little farewell tour out there and uh, because that will be the last time my dad's truck will be leaving out of state my uh, stepbrother will be driving my dad's truck here locally um, which is what, what my dad did um, just before he had gotten sick um, and my dad was no longer wanted to go out of state because he found a run uh, here locally that would take him on. <clears throat> and um, and um, you know, she got crazy, and my father got sick. So let's. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start gathering. So um, he's not really familiar uh, with driving out of state 
my uh, pops actually is the one who trained him and taught him the ropes. Um, but the out of state driving was not for my stepbrother. He didn't. He didn't. It's not something he um, he found um, appealing. So he decided to take a different route and uh, find something locally. And um, that's what he's been doing ever since. But my dad did teach him how to uh, drive, you know, in the areas for a little bit. And uh, he kind of understands and grasps the idea of mountain driving, you know, driving uphill and downhill. Um, he was able to perform one of the tasks of climbing and dropping the grapevine uh, yesterday. So I wasn't able to do the video yesterday because I've been on the phone with him nonstop. So that's why you might see an interruption here. Hopefully I can get to the shade without um, getting a phone call. But uh, I have to keep it open because um, he may need me. I've been helping him with uh, learning the uh, electricity and uh, not to get any violations, you know, just helping him out, you know, showing him the ropes. And uh, he has been driving um, what you would call like, um, <coughs> what do they call that? Uh, shuttle driving, um, you know, uh, the most like 20 miles, 30 miles, even 100 miles if uh, really needed. Um, so he didn't he did require an electronic logbook. And I'm just going to load the shit out of it. You guys know how I like loading. I load it very heavy. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I wasn't able to be, get, get, but, uh, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't an option yesterday. And then today, I had a few phone calls from him and my stepmom. And, um, So I was a bit occupied with that. So that's why I was saying I wasn't even gonna go live. I was gonna go live a little bit in the afternoon. Um, more so especially so that way, uh, so that way you can get some rest, Tony. But um, that's why I called you ahead of time, just to make sure you would you would make it. Um, so I'm glad you're here. Um, I know I could have. Um, I wish I would have been able to prepare myself a little bit better, you know, let people know. But I didn't know if I was gonna go live or not. So you know what? Fuck it. I'll go live. No, no better time like the presence, right? Plus, it's been a long time since I've done a live shave. Um, on YouTube since they told us that we needed a thousand subs. Um, Raza, what's going on, brother? Steve! Steve Walker's in the house. What's going on, Steve? Steve, we can finally do live shave. We finally made it to the uh, so-needed sub count that YouTube fucked us all with. Um... I had a thousand subs for um, about two weeks and still wasn't able to go live. Maybe three weeks, shit, I don't remember. So I was just worried that they were going to come out with some other nonsense of fucking needing 4,000 subscribers or something to go live. But I had given up on it for a little bit. And then uh, one day out of the blue, I decided to jump on and see if I can go live. And lo and behold. So I said, you know what? All right. I'll be home for the weekend. And um, I'll do a live then. So um, for anybody who's watching, cameras here. Down here, I have my laptop and I'm reading the comments. I haven't done a laptop uh, live before. So... Um, Oh yeah, I know Tony. Thanks, brother. I'm glad you were you were here to watch. So let me see. Okay, now there I can scroll. 
Yeah, I know. I know, Steve. It sucks. But you'll get there, brother. You'll get there. You'll get there. Especially now that you're back, I'm going to be pushing your guys' channels a little bit more. Um, so if anybody's watching, go, go on over and check my brother Steve Walker's channel, The Rocket City Shaver. Um, he's sitting about five or six hundred subs, right, Steve? Um, he was one of the guys who was very inspirational in my channel. Um, probably doesn't know it, but uh, he re really is and still is. Um, I enjoy watching his videos. Great content. That guy's a fucking, that guy's a hoot to watch. So go give my buddy Steve Walker some love. Let's help him get to a thousand subs. He too loves his self uh, live videos. He used to do live videos along with us before they fucked it all up. 515, not bad, not bad. Thomas, I'm doing good, brother. I'm doing good, Thomas. Thanks for asking. Thanks for joining, guys. I really appreciate it. I didn't know how what, what a turnout that was going to be because, like I said, I, I didn't plan it. Um, well, I didn't plan it according to the plan, should I say. Because um, I was having some things I had to take care of. So remember this spot right here? I'm going to open that bitch up right now. Yeah, so I, I think I'm almost positive you guys will enjoy watching Steve Walker's channel. My buddy Raza too, he's also got a YouTube channel, right Raza? If I'm not mistaken, is it a YouTube channel? I think you do have a YouTube, YouTube channel, or is it just Instagram? I've seen you a few times, and I forgot what, where, where you're at. Um, but yeah, put something down there Raza, let us know. I'm all over the place, guys. Um, uh, no, uh, Thomas, I'm using um, my, my first uh, go at the full-size tub of ESP. I had a sample of this a while back. I got the set. I absolutely love it. It's something you guys definitely have to pick up. It's got a very nice, reminiscent, old-school, manly you know, I don't know, it's hard to explain something that your father would wear. Um, it's a badass scent, man. It really is. Um, and it's not mentholated. No, it's not mentholated. Yeah, I've seen your lives on Lather and Blade, uh, uh, Steve. But, um, man, I've been hella fucking busy with uh, with my dad's company and everything, trying to get everything running, you know, uh, on the straight and narrow. So I haven't, I haven't been able to jump on. I've seen a few of them here and there. I'm just, you know, all over the map at the moment. Even my, uh, even some of my loyal uh, uh, subscribers who have got YouTube channels where I've watched their channel uh, um, on a regular basis, I haven't been able to watch them either. It's really fucking busy. That's right, shaving with Raza. Uh, yeah, YouTube channel, I could have sworn it was. I'm just, like I said, I'm all over the place. Um, yes, I do. Yeah, what part of uh, Northern California? I drive up to, um, I drive up to Washington once in a while. Uh, Oregon, Sacramento. Uh, Washington. We used to go all the way up into Seattle, but fuck that, not anymore. Now with all this shit that's been going on. San Jose. I haven't been to San Jose in a little bit. I haven't been to San Jose in a little bit. We don't have runs up there. But uh, there are some times where... Um, the runs that go off that way. But definitely, brother, if uh, I ever get a load up that I remember, I'll hit you up.
So how have your guys' day been? What you up to, uh, Steve, Raza, Tony? Um, man, Thomas, thanks, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, just, um, I couldn't, man, I just being able to take this company into another, to a whole nother level in his name, I'm so honored. I really am. What other way to keep his memory alive, man? We wouldn't have it any other way. I don't think he would either, honestly. And I really fucked my face up. It was a pimple that I couldn't get out and I was getting irritated. And uh, I really wailed down on that one. Uh, working off a hangover, eh, Steve? Start working a few hours, Raza says. Golden Steel, what's going on, brother? Ah, uh, man, I feel I understand the overslept, uh, Golden Steel. <laughs> yeah, that man cave light, that's my, uh, my, all this is my wife's idea, my wife and daughter's idea. That's why I haven't messed with it. I don't like that picture, but she does. <laughs> That's why I get annoyed every time I want I see that picture, but um, she wanted me to take it down. Having a coffee, Tony says. Yeah, having myself a brew. Didn't feel like going out to the um, to the uh, brew house, so I was like, ah, I'll pick up some pick up something simple. Yeah, so I had a, I've got a few shaves up my sleeve that I've already uh, pre-released, or sorry, pre-recorded, but um, I haven't had the time to release them. But I will. <clears throat> Hopefully later today, if I have the time, I'll start to edit everything. If I have the time. You know who was another guy I want to see do live videos? Bob Gonzo. Gonzo is another one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. I would love to see him start doing lives. And he's up there too. He's getting up there too. He's in the, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's also in the five or something like that. 500 subscribers. Pretty cool guys, I'm really glad you guys showed up, really. Again, I wish I would have, um... yeah, I seen him do the live videos on Facebook. Every time I want to jump on that with you guys, man, some shit happens. I want to be able to interact with you guys. 
and never, never, never get the chance. Always something, some shit pops up. That or um, I was on my downtime. Because uh, again, I'm a truck driver. I drive out of, out of state. And uh, a lot of the times when I see some of these videos pop up that I've missed. It's because I was asleep, taking my, my uh, mandatory 10 hour break. Oh man, I think that's something that's very simple. I think everybody wants to do um a Kevin be able to go out and just do what they want to do, man. Simple something just like you said, it's something as simple as playing basketball, baseball, you know, football, catch, I mean shit. Tony, Tony from Australia, he's got it fucking bad out there. Out in Mer Melbourne, and it's fucking insane, dude. It's really insane. I know some of the guys who do live videos like using the uh, FaceTime camera, but uh, a lot of the times you can't really tell um, the quality of the shave or the product that they're, the product that they're using because it's kind of blurry. But a lot of the guys normally just show up anyway just to chit chat. But uh, I'm hoping that the uh, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this this side of the camera. Um, How's the uh, how's the picture looking, Tony? And how's the reception? Is it is it freezing or anything? That's another thing I kind of wondered. Fuck, maybe I should have did it in my daughter's bathroom since it's closer to the router. Yeah, let me know so I know for the next live shave what I should do and change around. I missed something. Uh. Peter, what's going on, brother? Yeah, total lockdown, Tony says, in Australia. Oh, my wife's watching. There you go. There's a, there's a, there's a Mrs. SoCal shave right there, Rosario Miranda. <laughs> That's my wife. Thanks, Rosie. Appreciate it. Uh, for the shave gear that I use, uh, guys, um, what I've been doing as of lately is taking all of my samples uh, just to get rid of them because... There's a lot of samples that I want to try and they're accumulating. So I figured the best way to get through the samples is taking with me on the road. And that has been working an absolute treat. It's been working really, really well. Um, as far as my brush, I take a, 30, uh, a 1305 Raza that was starting to peel. 
um, so I don't have to worry about taking anything expensive with me. Um, I have my 34C and I take with me blades that I've used in the past that only have like three or four shades on them and I'll use them uh, basically until they die out. Um, so that is my that is my dot bag uh, for for on the road. Um, and it works really well. I'm I'm actually very happy with with the way that that's going. Wow, great shave. Nice. So Tony says it's frozen a couple of times, okay. Let me rinse up guys. Sorry, I had to take my, um, as uh, Steve likes to call it, my James bath. <laughs> yeah, um, because they are of them, that's the only way to, to do it, um, is I have to take my bowl with me. And uh, unfortunately, um, I do have the Sterling collapsible bowl with the little divot in it, you know, the little dog bowl. Um, but believe it or not, that bowl has been damaging my brushes. Um, the Whatever is in the inside, the plastic, I don't know, I guess it's like made to like help scrape the the stuff off the dog's tongues and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I, I'm only guessing, but whenever I use that bowl, it starts pulling br bristles out of my brushes. And I don't get that with, not even with lathering on my face or even regular bowl lathering. So I stopped using it. Um, and I also, shaped like a cone at the bottom it's hard to lather in so i'm actually going to get this nice metal turkish brush to, um a turkish bowl it's like a copper on the outside and like a silver in the inside uh, my buddy got one and i think i'm gonna end up buying one of those so um yeah uh having to bowl lather i think is the only way to get a shave because of samples All right, let me rinse off this Allen. All right, awesome shave. A James Bath, yes, sir. First live, the dude of shaving in the house. What's going on, my brother? So uh, I got my laptop down here, my front-facing camera right here, or yeah, the front-facing camera, not my um, not my uh, FaceTime camera. So I'm reading the comments down over here, Jr. Um, Ethan, what's going on, brother? Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Big fan. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. 
Um, that's what it's called. Uh, uh, a buddy sent me a link. And it's, that's all it's called. It's called a Turkish bowl. Um, if you want Raza, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll send you a link of what the bowl looks like. I like it because it's, um, I, I have a, I'm a big, um, if those of you guys have been watching from the very beginning, I'm a, I was a big, very big, uh, a bowl lathering, uh, uh, uh person. Um, so I got a few of my, bowl, but I don't have, uh-oh, it's freezing over here. Okay. Um. But uh, that bowl is probably the size of, let me see if I have something. Yeah, it's probably the size of this um, this bowl. My little SoCal shape bowl. Um, and if give you, uh, uh, I don't know. There you go, it's probably about the size of the tub there. Yeah, the Turkish bowl is probably about this size here. Um, it's very lightweight. I don't have to worry about dropping it. You know, it's just going to be really cheapy. I, it's really, really good, too. It's like a, like a $3, $4 uh, bowl. So, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but I'll, I'll, share, I'll share a link with you. Uh, it's just called Turkish bowl, lathering bowl or some shit like that. Um, Golden Still, I, I'll have to send you a link as well. One of the UK, um, UK for, uh, uh, forums, it says, uh, uh, I don't remember if it's, what the hell does it say? Bedford Pottery? Could have sworn it was Bedford. Shit, I don't know. I don't remember. But if you guys can see that there, um, he's got a channel or a, uh, a page on Facebook um i think on instagram too um i will have to i have you on instagram um uh, kevin so i'll send you a, i'll send you a, a link yeah i i, I seen the timeless the timeless bowl that seems pretty badass too um shave cave what's going on reed glad you can make it brother i'm at the end of the shave but um, i'm glad you're here Really, really glad you're here. It's just a spare the moment uh, live shave. Uh, pretty good turnout, though, man. Pretty, pretty good turnout. I'm going to go ahead and wash out my brush. Still got plenty of lather there. Yeah, for sure, uh, Rosa. Yeah, check it out. I never heard of that bowl, uh, Raza. Send me a link for that one. I haven't. Seen, I don't think I've seen or heard of it. Oh, okay. He's got a new video. Jeffrey. Jeffrey's in the house. What's going on, Jeffrey? Yes, sir. I'm gonna do a recap just now. It's not totally. Um, the end of the shave, but, uh, towards the end, I will recap definitely, Jeffrey. <clears throat> yeah, but, um, bow lathering, it's the business. High school football game. Well, at least some of us can get out, Jeffrey. Some of us here are still, uh, having issues. Here where I'm at, Southern California, it's not too bad. Um, so I can only imagine and feel the pain of what the sh you know the shit you guys are going through, man. And again, I'm sorry if I'm off to the side, guys. I'm I'm going back and forth reading the comments. I'll be right back. Give me a sec. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go grab another brew. I'm not very one to really sit around and chit-chat because, uh, I don't know, like, I feel kind of awkward. Like, like, I'm wasting your guys' time, but 
you know, it's it's a, a lot more interesting when you're seeing Kevy do it. You know, the other guys used to do it because, you know, they're much more interesting <laughs> than I am. Uh, so I feel kind of awkward, like, you know, fuck, let's get on with it. You know, end the shit, keep you guys, keep you guys entertained for a little bit. How do I know? It doesn't say how long we've been on. Uh, oh, yeah, 41 minutes. Okay. I'm still trying to figure all this shit out. It's freezing. Oh, no. There we go. But, uh, yeah, so let's get in with the rest of the shave here. All right. Some goodness. This stuff is amazing. I sent a sample to this to Alex. And I'm hoping he gets a chance to use it soon. Because, man, great stuff. Really, really great stuff. What an amazing scent. All right. And um, you don't need an aftershave balm with uh, Douglas's new formula on his aftershaves. Um, but just for shits and giggles, let's get in with it anyway. If I can get the damn thing open. Which I cannot. And where is the damn razor blade? All right. There we go. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Amazing. Really, really good shape. Yeah, so I hope you all will continue looking forward to these live shaves because I'm going to do a lot of them. <laughs> I might get on everybody's fucking nerves with these live shaves. All right. So um, let's go into a recap for Jeffrey because that, that man is a busy man. He's got to get back to his um, high school game. We went with ESP from PAA. And this is his CK6 formula. Awesome, awesome, awesome soap scent. This is a must have on the radar of one to 10. This is an absolute 10 performance scent, you name it. Um, I don't know if I'd ever call something a 10, but that is a 10. Um, and if anything else is the 10 will be Fougere Gatti from Barrett's Your Man. Um, we went in with the matching aftershave splash from ESP. The aftershave balm. We went in with uh, that darn rub with a spalted oak on resin with a V4 Fanchurian 26 millimeter gel tip badger. We went in with the raw razor uh, with the lubricating strips with a brand new Permasharp blade and uh, fantastic, fantastic shave. And obviously, as always, using my Allen stick as my pre. Um, Chris Bailey. Chris Bailey made it. What's going on, Chris? I'm already at the end of the shave, brother. Hopefully, hopefully you can stick around and chit chat for a little bit. Uh, if y'all don't mind, if anyone else has got uh, things to do, I do understand. But, you know, I haven't done one of these in a while, so hopefully I can chit chat and catch up with you guys and see what's going on, on you know, going on out there. But um, fantastic shave. Just kicking back. Just finished up my shave. Fantastic shave. A little warm in here, having a brew at the same time. Um... But um, 
but yeah, just um, I was um, Chris. If you guys, if anyone sees me looking down this way, I have my laptop. Uh, reading all the comments. Uh, meanwhile, um, and then I have the FaceTime camera up here. Um, so I, I'm I'm really really sorry for doing that, but um, yeah. So uh, what can I catch you guys up on? So I got my truck back. Um, I was in a loner for about two and a half months, close to three months, uh, since my dad passed. Um, we had to change over all of the documents, everything brand new, the company name, uh, DOT uh, numbers, uh, uh, California uh, fuel stickers. I mean, you name it from the ground up. It's got to be brand new. We can't have any associations or tied to my father. Uh, because he is no longer here, they see you know he's deceased, and um, there's we can't run under that same what they what they we can't run under under that same authority. Um, so when that happened because of COVID, um, it threw everything into a fucking loop. I mean, just call it a blender, dude. It it, it fucked everything up. It took forever to get our permits processed, to get our permits clear, to get our permits uh, 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 um, valid. Uh, you name it to get back in our truck and start working under our new authority it took close to three months so um out of those three months i was out of work for two and a half weeks trying to figure out how we're going to do this and how to move forward and uh i was driving in this truck that i mean these guys were fully loaded hauling freight up the hill and I was downshifting four gears at a time because I couldn't I couldn't get up the hill. Um, the trucks were so small. I mean, I was just, my, my, my truck is nice and big, right? It, it's got a lot of space in it, but the truck being so small, I was, you know, constantly when I was asleep, I was constantly elbowing the, the shelves, constantly elbowing the walls. Um, I am very blessed, don't get me wrong, I'm very blessed and thankful that I had a job to go to because um, uh, my father had left a lot of open doors for us. Uh, and that's the good part. So uh, the guy I'm at, I was actually working for, his name is Eric and he was um, one of the guys who let us borrow one of the tow bars, the, the huge, it's like a huge tow crane tow bar that goes onto the fifth wheel to haul another truck. And with that, we used to haul our trucks back from Arizona one day that they broke down. And uh, so I had his number. Uh, he used to work with us along with our dispatcher. And I called him up one day. I said, hey, you know, explain the situation with the whole COVID and what happened with my pops. And I said, look, I'm looking for work. Um, I got I got good experience. You know, I got a lot of experience under my belt. Um, I got a good driving record. You know, would you take me on? Give me a, give me a chance. And I started working with him. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm back in my truck. Thank God. <laughs> um, I just did two trips uh, this pay period. Not, not not even close to what I wanted to, but I need to get something on, on record. And uh, once I get my hours uh, back, I can really start pushing and start getting some real, uh, real good time in. Um, but uh, yeah, we got both of our trucks ready to go. My, my stepbrother's on his way to uh, Fife, Washington right now running that trip. And uh, so we got both of our trucks on the road, finally, thank God. And it's just uh, hope and pray, fingers crossed, that um, trucks don't have any issues at the moment because uh, uh, we're running out of cash. Uh, uh, our reserves are just um, right at empty, so uh, we can't use any other hiccups at the moment or don't need any hiccups at the moment. But um, that's what's going on uh, on our side of town here, um, trying to make ends meet. But um, let's see any comments here. Um, yeah, man, it is a lot of work, Chris. Tremendously a lot of work. <laughs> the dude is shaving. I don't like your lies, Chris. I love your lies, Chris. This is good stuff. I just wish I can catch you guys more often, man. Yeah, California, California, man. Shit's very slow with California. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Um... The truck, the truck that I have is a 2013 Freightliner Cascadia, uh, 72 inch sleeper. It's a big ass sleeper. In fact, it is. Except I think, I think the new Cascadia beats us by two inches, if I'm not mistaken. 
um, but we are the biggest uh, sleepers, uh, cus uh, um, custom, um, uh, fab, um, damn it, can't think of the word here. Uh, basically, like OEM, it, uh, there's nothing modified on it. We're one of the biggest uh, sleepers uh, on, on the market right now. Um, and uh, man, it's, it's, a, it's a, it feels like a fucking mansion compared to the other trucks. I've driven a lot of trucks. I've driven, um, I've driven Peterbilt, Kenworth, Internationals. Um, the only one, the only one I haven't driven is a Mac. Um, I've driven old school classics, um, 13 speed, 18 speed, super speed, 10 speed. Um, I've got a lot, a lot of experience, um, and um, I've worked with a lot of uh, trucks and stuff like that. So my truck, compared to other trucks, man, I was just amazed when I got in my truck. I was like, damn, like, you know, I'm throw a party up in here, man. But it's a, uh, it's a I love my truck, man. I really love my truck. My dad kept tr trying to uh, push me to get into a, a, a classic. He really want. He loves this classic. So do I. But going on the road and being on the road for so so long and being you know cooped up in a truck smaller than mine, I, I've seen it. I've done it plenty of times, and it starts to get a little bit claustrophobic. You get very uh, uneased and just. Uh, you want your room, you want to be able to stretch your hands and, and you know, just you want to be able to move and stretch and it's not the same as being in a, in a in this Cascadia. So we got two, I got a, uh, my father's is a 2012, mine is a 13. Um, and uh, he wanted to get a, uh, one of the newer versions. I think he wanted, he was looking into getting a 2000, uh, what was it, like a 2016 or 17, I think it was, Peterbilt. Um, but um, we, 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 we'll, we'll get into one, you know, I'm going to fulfill all my dad's dreams. He wanted to get two more trucks and uh, he wanted one of them to be a day cab and the other one wanted to be a classic. So um, God willing, um, with time, uh, if time permits and uh, if it's in God's favor, I will do my best to fulfill all of my pop's dreams and uh, get that classic truck and put it on, put it on the road. But uh, let's see here. Do y'all have any any questions uh, or suggestions or anything like that? Uh, any tips? Let me know. Um, just so I can try to make an hour. I, I want to try to do this whole hour thing like everybody else does. It's pretty cool. Um, Chit-chatting with you guys here. Uh, please do so. Ah, oh, shit, Steve. I, I, thought, I thought that video you did, she was fine. I remember you said that her brother... I uh, know... That her boyfriend came uh, was was in contact with someone with COVID and he came back uh, negative. What the fuck happened? Oh, Steve, I'm I'm sorry. I'm glad she's doing okay though. So is this is this um something after that whole situation with the boyfriend? Ah, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, loss of smell, um, breathing issues, uh, hiccups. Hiccups are a big... Uh, people like hiccups. Yeah, hiccups is a big... Uh, um, one of the big symptoms as well. Um, from having fluid in your lungs causes you to have a lot of hiccups. Um, but yeah, loss of smell, um, fevers. Uh, they say dry coughs. Um, I have a few of the dry coughs too, so I don't know if it's absolutely 100% dry coughs only. Um, ah, she's a teacher and caught it at work. Oh man, well, you know, man, Steve, I, I really am glad to hear that she's doing okay. She's one of the very few. One of the very few. Uh, I'm glad that she's doing okay. But the elderly, oh man, the elderly, um, the very young are the ones who are really experiencing the the um, absolute devastation of the uh, COVID. Hey Dave, what's going on, brother? Thanks for joining. We're at the tail end of this um, this live shift, just chit chatting and catching up with the guys. That's good. That's really good, Steve. My um, my wife's grandfather and wife's uncle caught it, and it it really messed up my wife's grandfather. Um, 
bad. Um, not, uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say like internally, like chest uh, internally, but uh, people have said that when you catch COVID, it leaves you not all there. And after he had got sick, things were kind of weird with him, um, where he wasn't comprehending what we were saying. Um, just not understanding. It was kind of, kind of strange, awkward, sad, um, one day to another, you know? Um, yeah, it kind of left him just like not, not all there. It, it was, it, it sucks. He, he still liked that. So now they're looking into getting in some professional help. Um, the, uh, uncle, uh, got pretty sick. Um, I've also heard, uh, after symptoms of catching COVID that you're coughing up blood. Uh, from the lungs being so damaged to the virus, um, so pretty crazy, man. Pretty, pretty crazy. Some serious shit out there. Mm -hmm. Nothing much, Dave. Just uh, doing my live shit for the very first time in a long time. I used to do live shit with all these guys in the very beginning when uh, the live shades first came out. We would actually take turns and call each other and say, hey, are you going to go live this weekend? No, I'm not going to go live weekend this weekend. Do you mind if I go live? Yeah, go ahead, go live. <laughs> so we would all we would always have a shave. Uh, the thing is, uh, Tony, you would remember, when were the shades? Were they Saturday shades? Saturday eve? Were they Saturday shades or Sunday? They were 11 o'clock my time. So whatever time it was on their, on their end. But uh, so I'm going to try to get into this here. Um, with me being a truck driver and everything, because before I was uh, I was still doing um, automotive. I was still an automotive mechanic at the time. So with me being a truck driver uh, and driving all, all out of state and everything, it's going to be hard to be able to manage and uh, have one planned out for the weekend. Um, so, but uh, yeah, I, I just find these live shows much more um, easier. So I don't have to really worry about everything else. I can just post and I have to worry about editing. Um, but uh, if you guys are more, more concerned of just 30 minute shaves, then I'll stick with the regular shaves where I can edit and everything. But if you guys like these live shaves, if you guys find these interesting, um, or the first the first section of it, you know, when the shave is actually happening and you guys are seeing what's going on, I'm pretty sure you guys like that. But maybe, maybe you guys don't like the after um, when we're all catching up and everything. But yeah, throw some suggestions down. I really appreciate it, so that way I know what I'm looking at for the next live shaves live shaves are great thanks brother i really appreciate them i'm glad you think so i love live shaves i love them i just it just sucks that i can't catch them all the time um but um yeah coming up on an hour guys 59 minutes so we're gonna catch we're gonna end it there uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut it off i really do appreciate every single one of you guys joining um, it was a great shave, fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, no irritation. Um, the soap is slick as hell. The scent is amazing. You guys are fantastic and amazing for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And uh, again, if I'm looking down here, I do have my laptop here. So I'll be looking forward to another live shave here with you guys. So if you guys like what you see as always, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And y'all stay safe out there. Later, guys. Now I gotta figure out how to turn this off because I have it on my mount. Let's see how do we turn this off. I don't know how to turn this off, guys. Uh oh. Um, this is gonna be something. Uh, let's see.